Hello, my name is Doug Cochran. I'm a product manager on the ArcGIS Online team. Today I will be discussing the upcoming June 2018 release of ArcGIS Online. We are excited to introduce a new look and design for the organization overview page. So without further ado, let's dive in and see a sneak preview of what's coming in the June 2018 update. In the previous release of ArcGIS Online, here's what the organization page looks like. I'm sure most of you are familiar with this organization interface. We list information such as members and subscription status with links at the top that navigate to other organization pages for editing settings, inviting new members, viewing status, system health, and managing licenses. Now let's switch to the new and improved ArcGIS Online organization pages to see the differences. As you can see here, this is the new ArcGIS online organization page with updated tab interface and cards. In this case, I'm logged in as an admin. So this is the administrator view of the organization page and I'll show the non-admin view in just a bit. As you can see here, this is a new card interface. It is used to display key information and status for your organization in a more efficient way. More information can be viewed in a glance as you can see. The first card displays information about your organization. It includes items such as your subscription ID, feature data store level, and system health. The second card provides a quick overview of system credits and status, including credit usage over time, as well as types of credit services used. The members card provides a quick look at member status and levels allocated. The license card views license information and will be visible to administrators when the organization page is loaded. To get more details about the items displayed on the cards, admins can quickly navigate to the full page by either clicking the blue text in the right-hand corner of the card or the corresponding tabs at the top of the page. While the overview and members pages had a complete redesign for both administrators and users, minimal changes have been made to the licenses, status, and settings pages. You'll notice some updated fonts and a tab design for the settings page, but the design and workflows are the same. The license tab is where administrators assign licenses to organization members. The status page has the same great reporting capabilities as before. You can use this page to drill into credit usage, content creation, and member activity. The settings page is where you go to configure organization security, roles, and design. Let's look at the organization main page from a non-admin point of view. As you can see here, the non-admin organization page provides the same card interface but displays information and cards somewhat differently. Since non-admin users will not be managing members and licenses, the organization overview page will list other pertinent organization info such as subscription ID, which is helpful when getting in touch with Esri support. And it also will display ArcGIS online system health status. There's also a card that displays your organization's administrative contacts. And finally, if you want to know who and what content is new in your organization, just check out the newest members card, open data groups, or the latest content card. Now that we have seen what the new organization overview page looks like for admins and non-admins, let's take a look at the redesigned members and license pages. The redesigned members page now has new ways to search and organize users. Organization administrators can now search by name, last, first, both, or username. In addition, Filtering can be done based on user level and roles. The new organization page redesign includes both table and list views to browse members. The table view is similar to the previous design, while the new list view provides some additional information about members, such as licenses, assigned, and groups they have joined. Some attributes and list view link to an action for the member, for example, Clicking on the groups will take administrators to the members group page where they can manage the group membership for that member. We know that even small changes to the user interface can take time to get used to. We're confident you'll love the new design and find them very useful. These updates are the results of feedback and requests from our users, so please continue to share your ideas and thoughts on how to manage ArcGIS online to better optimize your workflow. Thank you.